Hi guys, it's Ellen Holsty, Community Program Manager at Pier Cedar Creek Institute. For today's activity, we're going to make our own scat. Now, do you guys remember what scat is? Scat is basically another word for animal poop or feces or whatever you want to call it. So today we're not actually going to be making real poop. We're going to make, be making pretend. So we're going to start off by using some Play-Doh. So Play-Doh is going to be our base. If you have real Play-Doh or name brand Play-Doh, you can use that. Just know that you can't probably use it after this activity again. You can also make your own Play-Doh. To do that, you basically need flour, salt, and just a little bit of water. So what it takes is about one part salt to two parts flour, and then enough water to make it the right consistency. So this one, I had about one cup flour to about a half cup salt, and then about a half cup of water. And I kneaded it and mixed it all together until I got a Play-Doh mi mixture. You also can add food coloring. If you add red, yellow, and blue, it makes it about this color, kind of poop-like color, and that's kind of fun as well. Once you have your Play-Doh, then comes the fun part. You get to add in different things, kind of like your food mix-ins. If the animal you're trying to make their scat for is an herbivore, remember mainly eats plants, you might want to add things like grass, and this you can just find in your yard, I ended up having a little bit of straw left over in my shed, so you could add straw. If it's an insect, sometimes insects eat leaves, and remember their poop is called frass. And so if it's an insect, you might want to add a little bit of leaves. Some also eat seeds, so this is just grass seed that we have, but if you don't have seed in the house, grass seed or bird seed, you could use sprinkles. You also could use Berries. Some animals eat berries. And so here I just have Red Hots because that's what I had in the house. But you could also use Skittles or M&Ms, different things that kind of look like berries. So that is if your animal is an herbivore. If your animal is a carnivore, you could add in things like feathers because they potentially ate some birds. Or you could add in things like little bits of aluminum foil for insect wings. Or, if your animal ate other animals, you can add in little crushed bits of pasta, and this could represent the bones of those animals. And another mix-in that we had is cotton balls, and this could represent fur. Now, you don't have to use these mix-ins. You can be creative and find other things that you have in your house. You could also make up your own. If you want ideas, you can use our scat matchup cards that we had from another lesson, and you can look at those and model it after, or you can just decide you want to make something completely different, and that's okay too. When you're done, tell a story with your animal. Say what it ate, where it went. Maybe say if it is a carnivore or if it's an herbivore. Be fun, be creative with it, and make your own master feces. Have fun! See you guys!